Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So we're carrying on with our emerald production. I did a little bit more. I moved the stuff as I said I was going to do into the factory. So let's go and have a look at that first of all I think. Oh, it must be best way to go to factories like this. So what I did, I actually have already got these machines set up. We basically had, I've added some more um, synthesizers here on this side, and I've also got on this side here some more decomposers. That's right. So in here I've got a uh, titanium dioxide, an automatic export. I should, probably should change it, but for the time being I'm actually not. And here we've got the recipe for our CO for titanium from Omeo. So what's going to happen is if I want some bone, if I want some titanium, the it's going to get, put the bony meal in here, and that's going to produce the um, titanium dioxide, which is automatically going to get fed into here and then processed and sent out. We can actually prove that, but I, well, shall I prove it or not? That's the question. Just remove this one here or put something in it. Or maybe I just put in uh, something useless. Let's have a look what we got in my bag. Or oh, maybe not so useless in the case. Let's just take a. Yes, oh, I've got some more, look, ten, ten more up there. Let's just put one of those in here and then prove it that way. So if I refuse to let that get imported and do the same for this one. So now we go and request some titanium. Right, let's go to the crafting only view and let's cr craft, no, oops, back escape try again <laughs> oh yes I want this one don't I let's just craft 10 of those start that so that's going to produce that from there so what we should see first of all is into here we should get the titanium dioxide coming out like that which we've got the 10 so all I need to do now is to remove this from here and then it should come into here like that and as you can see it's coming in I could speed this up it might be a good idea in fact let's do that one acceleration card in there will be sufficient and then you can see we've got the 10 titanium down here we can put that now take this out of there that goes out and then that will be completed so that's how I was doing that I'm not exactly sure whether I should do it that way or not to be honest with you. So if we change that back to stocks, we should have now 1318. It was 1307 last time, so I think that's right. So that's that one. So the next thing we need to do is go back to base and um, let's just do that, set the glider on. My thing hasn't recharged yet. Of course, I could, wouldn't have done this in the f nowadays. I'd have used the compact machines rather than to fly across here. It's a bit jerky as well. Well, it caches everything up, I guess. Plenty of mobs getting bashed around here as well. Because I think I moved the mobs. But I did actually. I wanted. Some, I wanted. I was moving stuff around, and I wanted to. Um, what did I want? I wanted some movement th uh, things, so I basically let those get s put everything down, all those mob spawners down. Yes, I wanted the movement ones so I could move stuff around. In fact, I've done quite a bit of moving around, as we, as we shall see in a second. So now I want this chemist journals. I wonder if I've got some with me. I think I have. Yes, I've got nine. Great. So what I haven't done yet. I set up the recipes and I put them into the synthesizers, but I haven't created the journals. So we need uh, an emerald. Let's just check what we actually got. We need for that. Um, right. I can set up the crafting recipe for that because I put I put those into this into the machines, but I haven't set up the recipes. Let's go over here and take out an emerald. So we need books, one for each one. And I don't think I've got any prepared. I've got some in here, I think. 
Anterior mirror, single leather, flint, ironing it. So, nope. So let's just put one in. Let's put the emerald in there. Take this, the general book out and put another book in there. So that's now done. And we'll actually decompose this emerald again so we can test it all out. So in here I've still got that. Yes, I have. Good. In fact, I'll take that out there and put in one of these blocks. Oops. It's less. It's only actually it's not even using it as it's just a token. So let's put in the emerald in here like that. Because that we don't need to worry about those two. They're already set up. But this one we do need to worry about the barrel. So let's get the barrel into the book. Which one is the right book? Chrome dust is probably that one. Let's put the barrel into there. Okay. And that's that's basically in the the general book. And let's put another book in here like that. So that's that one done. Let's move that book back into there, take away the barrel, and let's do the let's decompose a barrel. Because we need the metasilicate as well. The rest we don't need to worry about. So the metasilicate is this one. Silica dioxide, so we need another book for that now. Like that. And that I think is all we need for that. Everything else is all base materials. Great. Okay, let's put those books back into this chest. Uh, actually, I've got them on me, haven't I? Let's put them back into this bag up here. That's where I had them, I think. In fact, what I'm going to do is move this one out of the way. Because I want to put this one up here beside those. So now I've got those three books, and I just want to put the general book back in, which is that one there. And remove the barrel. Okay, that's better silicate, I mean. So let's go back to the factory. And put these into these. Here, I've actually set them up so I know which one's going to where. So this is the emerald. So I need to take the emerald out of here first of all and set and set it on. That's that one. I think that'll do. Let's just check. Yes, emerald's now the active recipe. So then that's then safe. Let's take the book out, put it back in again, you get the emerald. So the next one along here is for the barrel. So let's take the barrel book, which should be the second one, I think is this one. It doesn't really matter that barrel, yes. It doesn't highlight, but it's actually okay. Let's just put that book into there. I'll take it out again, that's fine. And then the last one will be metasilicate. So let's take the journalist, journal out again, right click it select that one that's just a left click to select it and put this book into here just check it you see so those recipes it's always best to actually put a book in so now we should be able to automatically craft an emerald let's check what we actually need have we got any barrel in the system no we have got some brilliant. Let's take the brilliant out of that. And let's go back. Let's just actually. What else do we need? Um, Mandadium. We've got 11. Let's remove that out of the system. Um, chromium. We've got 13 of those. And I think that's basically the core of those, those things. There's nothing else special yet. So everything then should actually craft. So let's try emerald. There we go. Let's make 64 of these. I don't know what it's going to work. Let's see if it's going to work. Yes, it should do. So we're going to use quite a lot of oxygen. And magnesium, not too much. So that's basically everything. I think they're all basic ones. So let's start that. And we go back to base now. And we're going to check what I've done on the other side because on the other side of the thing what I've done is basically set up the automation as I said I was going to do on the uh, fission chamber which was basically re replace us yeah, I can hear the noise from the mobs now of course because I've got my airpiece in as it were on my little radar so here, 
you look at this here, it's actually producing, it's taking oxygen and it's splitting it up into barrel, and that's getting imported. And just it's going up to 65, I don't know how it's managing to do that. Down here, so what I could actually do is speed that up. It looks like I need to, let's just do that. And then if I just get into the right place, which should probably be about here, all I've done is put a, an ME interface on here and an import bus on here. So let's just right click the import bus. Good, I can do it. Let's just put one speed upgrade in there, that should be fine. And that'll be the import. Let's just check that now. Everything's gone out probably very fast actually as it happens. So let's just fill this in. So all this has got in here is those recipes that we created last time, or barrel recipe from oxygen. Three makes six barrel. Where's my stuff? Let's just put the soup builders on here. Like that. So then that was also set to this direction, so it would only go into this. That's no big deal, that works just fine. And then the other interfaces I showed you about, I think, yes, they were just in those synthesizers. So I suspect, so what are we doing? No, I can't do it with that one, can I? So that's still in progress. So what's it doing now? It's making chromium. Okay, so that's working in the fusion chamber. Let's go and check that. Magnesium, magnesium is coming in like that. It's a perfect thing. And that should be coming to this chest here. And it should just allow me one at a time. So now it's making vandalium. As you can see, it's very brief. but and Because I've got this, um, wherever it is, this one, it's on this one here. I've got the downgrade, which only puts one item at a time in here. And on the, on the interface here, I've got it set to blocking. So it only puts one recipe in at a time, which is uh, very good. And that's where I put the, the recipes for those two. I didn't show you that last time. And as you see, it's putting in one of each. And then they're coming into here. It works, it's a bit slow. It could be faster, but it's not that important, is it? So, what, so let's go and have a look at what we're doing now. So we should have lots of emeralds. 22, great. So let's just, now the next thing, there's another recipe we need to make. I think I shall go upstairs to do that. Because that's where the, term, the pattern terminal is. So what we're trying to do, ultimately what we're trying to do, is to make the next advanced machine casing wasn't it and that's this one from tech report reborn machine casing so that's what we get one back so to do that we need a super condensator and some reinforced machine casings now the reinforced machine casings are these antimony ingots which we've already prepared and I should have produced some of these and we need some data storage units which is this one so what I should now be able to do is click that in there, change that to a crafting recipe, and take it out. So now we can go and put that recipe into a particular machine. Let's have a look for molecular. Have we got a spare slot on the site? Well, sure, yes, we've got some down here. And we've got some here. Let's put it in here like that. So we can now craft these circuits. So we need 16, I think think if I'm not mistaken let me just double check that again now so to do that we need one though so we need four reinforced machine casings so we need four of each so let's see what we can actually make of these 16 data storage circuits so I'll come over to the terminal and put oh, wrong one so we want to craft 16 of these and then that's that. So we've got 64 dire emeralds available. What do we need to craft? We've got available those. So we need to make another 64, I think. I'll start that, is that right? Yes, available to make another 64 emeralds. Right, we've got now enough to make one of these. So what do we need for that? We also needed some basic machine casings. And I've only got one. Oh, that's industrial craft. 
let's have a look for casings. I thought I had more than that. Standard machine casings. Oh, okay, we need to make 16 of these anyway, so let's get on and make 16 of those. Start that. I'll keep things busy for a while. And also we need to make, um, the last of those things was antimate ingots, wasn't it? And I've got one. I must have more, because I know I've got more. Where are the others stored? They must be downstairs. Have I still got them in this machine over here? Nope, because that was all done. I thought it was. Now, where have I put those things? Have I got them stored in a case over here? No. Hmm. That's strange. I'm sure I didn't lose those. Not in there. I wonder where they are then. Oh, that's very strange. I don't know what I've done with them. Hmm. Because what I tend to do is I put, have these boxes up here when I'm these large chests where I put stuff in when I'm actually just doing something like not there, not there, not there. Hmm. Well, that's a puzzle. What's that one? That's just an input. Another, that's another import chest. Okay. I'll remove that at some stage. So what have I done with those antimony ingots? I haven't got them in back, have I? I don't see them in there. I don't have them in these, no. Okay, I have to go and find them. Maybe I've put them somewhere so strange. So look, not in there. They shouldn't be in here because these are would be picked up. That's basically where I go and do my mob stuff. I've been around and done a few more bases, but um, dungeons, by the way, in between times. Oh, that's a bit of a strange thing. I must have put them somewhere. Where would I have put them? In here. There we go. Ah, oh, and I got my casings too. Great. Uh, oops, that was a bit of a mistake. So I thought I'd got everything prepared. It doesn't matter if I'm producing more of these anyway, because I'm going to have to make some more reinforced. And the reason I need to do that if I want to look at this one, let's have a look at for quantum. Next thing along the list is quantum. Quantum tanks, for example, or quantum chests. Now, for that, we need a digital chest. What do we need for this one? A quantum chest, yes, exactly. Then we need these data orbs and computer monitors, and then we've got the data storage circuits, which we've been working on, and a controller, which is actually iridium plate, which isn't too difficult as it happens, just one ingot, which we can do. And that will give us four of those things. That would make four of these data orbs. Let's go back, so that's the data orbs would be done here. Highly advanced machine blocks from Tecraborn, which are going to be an advanced machine casing from Industrial Craft 2 with chromium plates and titanium plates. They ain't going to be a problem. Except for the, this one here, a chromium ingot we need to make from, in the blast furnace, I think, from chromium dust. But this one needs 1700 heat. Now, to get the 1700 heat, we need a, a higher rating casings underneath that. And I think that will work with the reinforced machine casings from Tecraborn. But whatever it is, it's going to be hard. Still 1700 heat and 221 seconds to process. So that's it. That's the only way we can get this as far as I can see. And this chromium dust is just made by mine chemming chromium. That ain't big deal. And it's the same for the other one too. So that's not such a problem. But it, to make these things is going to be a challenge. So anyway, where are we now? We're doing the reinforced, weren't we? So we've got everything I need now for that. Let's just make sure we get the reinforced machine casing. So that's the standard, that's this one. So it's in the assembly table. So let's set up that recipe first of all. So we need four of these. Oops, didn't, oh yes of course. It's a 
process recipe. Four of those. Four ingots. And four of these. We'll make what we're going to make. So let's go and make what we need to make. Let's go into here, into the little room. See, I think these machine, these are compact machines. They're just great. So, so we need to put this recipe. We need to create the recipe, and we just need to set it up. So, which one hasn't got too much in it? This one probably hasn't. That's full. That's full. That's full. That's full. And this one's empty. So we'll do it in this one here. So we basically need four of these. Oops, try again. Four of those and four of those, and that should make one reinforced machine casing, like that. So now let's come across here and turn off the scrap. And that should start to work as soon as those things start. What's the rest of power? A 600, oh, it shouldn't be too low. Well, it's a reasonable amount of power for this one. And as soon as, actually I can do that now, I can turn this back on again. Because as soon as that made, then we can go and do that one. We need four of these. And you see it's actually doing, it's moved this one across here. Which, oddly enough, is the middle one. And the middle one, I haven't got in it yet. As you could see, it was actually doing multiple at the same time then. As it's doing now, look. So whatever it was doing in here, which I think was things was actually working. So that's the silk touch in action for you as well. You don't see that working very well. It doesn't work very well because it doesn't basically allow when it's already running to start a new one. It only does it when it's actually got one start starting at the same time. So you've got multiple recipes and you want to switch them on, then it'll do it. So let's have a look. So now we can come back here and set up this recipe. I haven't got it back again, have I? So I need the reinforced this one. So that's that recipe. Let's get this recipe out of here. And then we can put these into here like that. We don't need those on us anymore. And we're going to put this recipe back into that machine. Sometimes you stand on this and you jump off it. It takes a bit of effort to actually come off. Maybe I should move this one block because that's where you actually spawn into the room. So let's just do that. I'll just check I've got it in a single block. And let's just move it somewhere else. It doesn't matter where I put it. In fact, let's just put it here because that's where you come in. And it's actually not the only place I've got this problem. So let's put this into this, into this one now so we can then order some uh, machine blocks. I think one of these two was busy. I think it's circuits it needed. So let's go out again. So that was that one done. So we can order three more of these. Let's get that done. Let's take that out and then craft three. We can start that and that. It won't take too long. We can put that one back in again now. And you see it goes to two until it works out that it's actually only got one into the system, I think. Oh, it's just done one already. Okay, good. That must, that's strange. Did I produce two? I'll have to come back in here and t turn on the machine as well to allow it to work. Um, turn this one off. That one should come on, that's right. And they should get two of those into there. We can turn this one back on again. Four, four. If I actually turn off the blocking on this one, then it should be, might work better. We get eight and eight. I think I'll leave the blocking off on that one. Then you don't have to worry about it so much. So that's that job part done. So the next one is the Warren Buffett. So we've got... We'll have four of these, so we need this super condensator. Right, so we've got two steel machine holes, that's no big deal, and rubies. So let's have a look how we get these. I think we just simply smelt redstone furnace, smelting sapphire ore. Okay, so we'll set up the rest recipe for that one. 
we should have plenty of sapphire ore. we've got plenty of sapphire ore. so one of those let's take one of those uh, let's take that into the other room over here in fact I should do the other one is ruby ore as well wasn't it 60,000 ruby ore because that comes from Venus the other one's from Pluto I should take two of those with me one for the recipe and one for the for the ruby so all I have to do is put it into this furnace here I think and that just goes into this chest if doesn't it doesn't there we go as simple as that as it happens so we can now set up this recipe so that produces one sapphire and this one produces one ruby so all we have to do then is put those into the redstone furnace We've got just two spaces on this one. Wow. So that's that prepared. Hopefully we don't need any more than that. I'll we'll have to set up another interface or a furnace. So now we should be able to get this bit done. Where am I up to on this one? So those are done, that's done, those are done. And this one, super condensator. Okay, that was liquid gold and liquid rubber. Now, drums. I think... I think we have a liquid... I have a drum in here, don't I? Yes, I do. And I've also got these machine casings here. I'll take out two of those. So now, gold. It's actually very easy. All I have to do is select gold in here, which is already selected interesting put the drum in get a drum of molten gold almost straight away and the other one is rubber which is actually in the factory so let's go and get that one because I set this up to basically smelt in here an induction trickstall furnace to smelt rubber and just put it into a drum here so this is actually filled up so I didn't have to wait too long for this one let's just break that so now those are the two drums so I think we've got everything we need oh we need to make some more of course let's just do that this way I'm half, I'm half tempted to create a second warp stone but I don't think it's really necessary So what do we need now to do this? If it's 16, let's get this stuff set up into a recipe for this. Let's clear that off. So I forgot what we need of each one, but we'll just eight and 16. Okay, eight sapphire. We've got one that's craft seven. And the other one's ruby. We need 16, we've got one, so we'd get 15. Okay, good. A six, let's just say or sapphire. Got seven, that's right, that's already completed and that's already completed. A bit strange sorting there. So let's go back to this one. So the super condensator. Oh this one. Oh yeah, okay. Assembly tape. I have to do this recipe first, don't I? Okay, let's do this recipe first. So one of those plus one of those should go and put into the assembly table very expensive oops very expensive recipe this one by the way so let's put that into here of course one of those one of those will produce oh have I done that molten gold drum liquid rubber drum Liquid rubber drum 256. 
Ah, a liquid gold drum, not molten gold. Okay, that's different. <laughs> Ooh. And I hadn't spotted that. At least I didn't have too much difficulty spotting it. Now, gold. Um, I have a cheat on this one still, so let's just... I'm going to use a cheat for today because it's going to be a pain to make the other one. So let's just go downstairs and get that out of here. Gold, I think, is this one. It's one of these two. What have we got in here? Liquid gold tanks. Fantastic. All I basically need to do is get another drum. Uh, actually, I'll use the one I've got for this one. Like this. Put the got molten gold back in again. And then we can come downstairs here. And we can put onto this one. Whichever one it is, I think it's this one here. If I just put on it oh, I need to get a bit higher, don't I? Um I think it'll do here. Yes, it will do. And that'll pull it from the top, but that's just going to make it as fast as it's it's going to go through, I think. In fact, I probably could replace this servo. How's it doing? Because that's going to take, obviously, a little bit of time. I see, while that's doing that, let's do something else. Let's see how much scrap we've got. 2.6 million. Okay, it's not a huge amount, but let's put that into this thing over here. As you noticed I've removed some stuff. It's all in this one. Let's but while we're doing that let's just put this scrap into the into the export bus here. And also fill it into that so it gets start a good start. And so hopefully we get some more scrap. So in here I move those machines and it's got the same problems. I'm on a wire. So there were two machines I moved. One was the one to actually make um liquid gold is this one in fact this is the one that will yes this is the one that we can use to make liquid gold I haven't set anything up on it yet but it's all prepared and this one over here is the one for making cables so we basically put into that we can either make copper or or tin cables crafting and I just basically move those into here so that's no big deal and of course that makes a bit more space around here, makes it look a little bit neater, not much. And we'll leave these to get on with it with that one UU matter. <laughs> in fact, what I will do is I'll have check my servos in here. I've got plenty of resident servers, let's just take one of those out. Makes the episode a bit longer than I like it to be, so that's a bit of a shame. But at least I spotted that it wasn't this time and I don't really like using these sheets but you know this pack is so slow without it it's so that that now fills this in so it's going a lot faster and as you can see that's keeping up with this and this drum should be getting it nearly filled up so with a bit of luck in a few seconds we shall have that filled up. It's going quite quickly. Do one, two, five. Let's have a look what else we've got to do for this recipe. Make sure I've got everything I need for this recipe this time. Because uh, I want to finish Warren Buffett today. Because that's the penultimate quest, I think, isn't it? So let's have a look at the quests. Let's not crystallize it. Let's take flight. It's the Warren Buffett one. And the extractor, oh, it's no big deal. Unless that's a different extractor. We get a reputation of one and an advanced machine casing. Actually, that's unusual. Normally, I'd expect the reputation to be behind the, the actual reward. An extractor. Okay. All right, we got, we got it already, so let's just collect this one. Let's see if we can make that. Go into our little room. Oh, 
no nope, I want to come out of our little room because I've forgotten I haven't updated the recipe in the, over here I haven't got any way to automate this of course so that's liquid gold let's remove that one put the liquid gold in here so we have got the two right quantities come back in here I haven't got any uh, so I haven't got any way to automate drums as such I don't know whether it's even possible but hopefully we don't need too many oops ah uh, I had to put it into the M interface not into here sorry that means I'm gonna have to go back outside and get it again obviously you can't use a, a wireless it wouldn't help here but uh, I can't craft drums but I can't craft the fluid inside the drums yet right let's try that again and sure enough this time we can do the super condensator and it's not too much in terms of power let's just turn this off wait for a few seconds yeah that's already finished and let's turn this back on again yeah fantastic there we go let's get our super condensator out of here there we go that one oh. and let's get this one put into this recipe here i'm doing the recipes not because i need the recipes as such but because it helps me rem remember what i've got to do so now we need the warren buffett one so that was this one so we need okay eight four and two of those for the super condensator this is quite an expensive recipe let's clear that off eight those 16 rubies plus one of each of those oops let's get rid of that i right click it actually does remove it that's quite nice up uh, oh, of course we haven't got the thing we need to update yet let's go and put these into the machine and let's see if that will actually work I've got everything I need. Uh, I'm going to put into here that other, this one, so we know how to do it. We put the stuff into the system. So it was one of these, eight, sixteen, and personal shrinking device. That's because it's uh, that one, and then we can make the super condensator. Fantastic. Actually, I don't like that because that means that the reinforced machine casing is also available. Hmm. That's actually bad. What I'm going to do is remove everything out of here because I don't want that recipe conflicting with any other recipes that we've got in this one. We can take the diamond recipe out of here and we'll put this one in, to, we'll put these items into here so we don't actually get it coming up. Yeah, it's the personal shrinking device if I've got that selected that would come in okay we can put the diamond into here anyway like that that diamond chip chip set by the way is basically for open computers good let's turn this on actually enough that's working we can come back now and turn this one on again That's not going to take too long at all. I've got to go out and get it, of course. Ah, super condensate. This is really quite an amazing set of recipes, isn't it? So that's the actual recipe for that. I've got some more patterns in here. I should have more patterns. I don't know why they're not being crafted. should have a recipe for patterns as well I don't see it huh. that's strange I must have done something daft with that recipe it doesn't matter much we'll sort that out next time so we've got this now and we've got our what do we need reinforced wasn't it we've got our force four reinforced so let's go and put that into the machine over here oh I'll set up a recipe for it not much point i'm not going to do this more than once but there we are <laughs> well i probably am let's set that up there 
let's hope that this works this time. One advanced machine casing. Actually, won't be too long. Turn it off. Let the other one start, and then turn it back on again and go outside. There we go. Started. So the other thing I needed was um, an extractor, was it? Which is a bit of a strange thing. Yes, we've got extractors. In fact, I might even have one made. Indeed, I do. So let's have a look for casing. We've got it. So that means we've got Warren Buffett, fin Buffett finished at last. Let's go and detect this one. And we can claim it, so that's done. So we've got one reputation and one advanced machine casing done. And then that opens up Fu, which is basically to make a fusion reactor. And we'll have to look at that. And then HAL, which we can't see what HAL is. And actually, that's the last quest available in the pack at the moment. So let's have a look for fusion reactor to see what that's doing. And because I'm well over, well over my time today, but you want fusion this one so we need 64 hunter mini flame eye and one fusion cell now one fusion cell is one which isn't too bad I can do this so we'll do this next time so until a bit face and face there isn't it until that next time I'm gonna say bye for now